If you're selling a house, you may be wondering, where do I begin? You may be feeling all these overwhelming feelings of, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 staging priorities in order that I share with all my sellers. If you're new, I'm Dana Pollard. I've been selling real estate for over 14 years, sold over 500 homes, and I've made a lot of mistakes when selling homes. And I hope that the lessons I've learned I can bring to you and you can find value. By the way, if you're looking at selling a home in Texas or buying a home in Texas, fill out the dream home questionnaire or the sell my home property questionnaire. Um, and if you need a good referral, we vet out all of the agents. I make sure that they stage, get professional photos, they're experienced agents. If you have a house to sell in another state, I have your hookup, so fill out that questionnaire below as well. But let's get started. The number one priority when selling a house, and this is the staging section, is to declutter your house. I know you've heard that, so don't check off yet, okay? Um, but what I want you to be aware of, because everyone's heard that already, is look at your gallery, your photo gallery on the wall. So if you have 10, 15, 20 photos in one of those gallery walls, uh, it's not that they're not beautiful, it's that they can look cluttered in the photos. It can make it look like your wall is cluttered. Or if you have one of the walls with a bunch of crosses. Guys, I love crosses because I love Jesus. But listen. <laughs> You have to take them down. Take them down. And the reason is we want just one generic picture up on the wall so people are looking at your wall, not your gallery. On occasion, sometimes mm, you can keep it, but uh, if it's a gallery wall of photos, take them down. Maybe borderline pictures if they're trendy or updated, okay? The other thing you want to watch for when decluttering your home is your kitchen cabinets on the top. Sometimes the ledge up there, you may decorate it. In the photos, it looks very cluttered. And so I tell all of my sellers to take all the items down from the top of the cabinets, make it clean, no decor up there at all, okay? Some people have cabinets all the way up to the ceiling, and that's brilliant, lovely, uh, but if you don't, take that down. Declutter your fridge, everything off the fridge, everything off the counters, and then we put in little staging items, okay? That's the thing with uh, declutter that I don't want you to forget. Also on the decluttering side, remove those oversized pieces of furniture that are just making the space feel small. Um, someone had sent me pictures of staging their living room and they had uh, two couches and then a coffee table in between. They didn't really have a focal point and it was kind of difficult in this house. And so I would recommend removing one of those couches altogether so that it just, it, the goal is to make your space look as big as possible. So if you need to remove big pieces of furniture, sometimes you want to do that. The second priority, and this may shock you, is going to be your front entry into the home. So I know kitchens are important. I know that curb appeal is important, but your money is when someone walks in the home, how do they feel? Do they feel peaceful when they walk in? Do they feel there's bright red paint and like, ah, anxious? Do they smell weird odors? Um, how do people feel when they walk into the home? Because it's going to either feel like home or it may feel cold. It, this is the, the hard part about a vacant property. If people list properties and they're vacant and they're not staged, even putting a picture up on the side of the entryway to help warm it up will help tremendously. We, we want to be aware of the feeling and the visual, okay? So different homes are different. Some people you walk in, they have a big, beautiful entry. Some people you walk, some homes you walk in and there's, it's straight into the living room. Maybe it's a small entry. I mean, there's so many things, but just know when you walk into the home, how do you feel? And we want to stage that area, okay? The third priority uh, when selling your house is the kitchen. So I know some people say the kitchen is number one, but really how people feel is number one. Kitchen, 
you can do some inexpensive things to update your kitchen if it's not updated already but that would be your next priority so if you have laminate countertops or maybe old brown early 2000s granite um, you can do some things to update that we did epoxy on our countertops which is lovely uh, or you can replace them. It's just if you're going to sell a home, it doesn't always multiply your profits if you put in quartz or granite or marble. You may not multiply your profits. You'll probably break even. And then at that point, you go, is it even worth it? So maybe if you have old laminate counters or old outdated granite, you can update it a little bit. There's so many inexpensive options, but I have a video coming out for that. Next priority is your master bath, okay? After you've gotten a kitchen, the kitchen pretty good, then your priority is gonna be the master bath. Again, you can paint old ugly tile, guys. There's tile paint. Maybe you can stamp them. Um, there's things that you can do to that old tile that make it look good. Same with the countertops, paint it, spruce it up. Make your bathroom feel peaceful or like a spa that would be the go-to for the bathroom. Get you some fresh, clean, brand new, uh, white fluffy towels, roll them up, put them in a basket. Bathroom is your next priority. After the kitchen, after the master bath, then comes the living room, okay? And I put the living room, now it may be your first if that's the first thing you see when you walk in, uh, but the living room then comes because generally a living room's a living room. Okay, but maybe you need to paint the fireplace. Again, do some inexpensive, uh, easier options. Don't like do a full remodel on your fireplace, okay? But then you wanna spend some time in the living room. What's the focal point? Do you have a fireplace? Is that gonna be the focal point? Do you have a TV? Do you need to rearrange furniture? Some things in the living room, that's gonna be your next priority. After the living room comes the curb appeal. Now I know tradition has been curb appeal is the first, which it is the first impressions, but just remember, they've already seen this property online. So curb appeal has gone from way up here to mid range now because they've already anticipated a certain look on the interior of the home. That was before people could see the interiors, okay? So, but it's, I'm not saying it's not important. So what we want to do with the curb appeal is because this is what happens. Your agent is going to go up to the door and buyers are going to be standing behind the agent. The agent's unlocking the door, getting the key and the buyers are looking around. They're looking at the ceiling of your entryway. They're looking at the weeds, if there's any in the yard or the freshly manicured lawn. <laughs> They're looking around at the curb appeal while you're, while the buyer's agent is unlocking the door. So that's why you wanna put some emphasis on the curb appeal. Now listen, you don't have to go all crazy on your curb appeal. Just trim the bushes, trim the trees maybe, if needed and put some black mulch in your flower beds. Black is lovely. Uh, if you have red mulch, I would recommend pulling the red mulch, putting black, because it's more sleek and appeals to more buyers. Not that red can't be pretty. And maybe some flower pots. You don't have to go and plant flowers everywhere if you don't already have them. If you have them, that's wonderful. But if not, maybe some potted flowers. That way you're not like digging up and creating a bunch of work for yourself, okay? So that's where the curb appeals. Sometimes you may need to uh, power wash and that, that would be beneficial. Sometimes you have to fix some, I've seen some homes where you have to fix wood rot, okay? In the front, that's definitely a place that you wanna fix the wood rot. It's gonna get flagged anyway. Um, so all that being said, that's where curb appeal comes. The seventh priority when selling your property and staging will be your backyard. Again, this is not HGTV, guys. You don't have to do a full remodel on the backyard to sell it. Just clean it up a little bit. Have it freshly manicured, weed it, and uh, clean. Because it's amazing how many properties I go look at and I'm like, why is there a shoe in the backyard, y'all? And, um, or maybe they just left the hose out just wrap up the hose, just tidy the backyard up a little bit. Maybe you pressure wash the back as well. Just make it look neat and clean. You don't have to put a whole lot of work into it. The eighth priority after the backyard is, are the bedrooms. 
or in other miscellaneous rooms. So bedrooms are bedrooms, okay? Uh, they're further on the prior down on the priority list because people just look and they're like, it's a bedroom. <laughs> so if we have a goal for the bedrooms and you've made it this far, then the goal is to make it look as big as possible. Yes, with HGTV advice, you like to have each room to have a purpose. But again, people, they can, if they've fallen in love with the living room, kitchen and backyard, the bedrooms are the bedrooms, okay? Same with the game room. It's nice to have a game room staged, but it's not the end of the world if it's a room. Same with uh, office. It's nice to have the office nice and tidy, but it's not the top of the priority because it's an office, okay? Then after all that come the closets. Why are the closets important to stage and declutter? It's because closets are important. This storage is important to people. <laughs> So again, it's a priority. If you can't make it to the closet, it's not the end of the world. However, to have a nice and tidy and decluttered closet just says, oh, there's space here. Goal is to make it look as spacious as possible. Then after the closets come the garage. Many uh, sellers ask me, Dana, I don't wanna, cause I tell them throw all their junk in the garage. <laughs> But they go, Dana, but the men, they love the garage. I'm like, the man ain't making the decision anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, there can be single men out there and some men do make the decision, but the majority have wives that are, you know, they've already fallen in love with the home. So <laughs> the garage, everyone forgives the garage if it's a mess. So even if it's not normally a mess and now it became a mess because you just took all the stuff out of the closets to make space in there, put it in the garage. People know you're moving. It's okay to have boxes stacked up in the garage. It's okay for it to be a mess. I've seen houses that were beautifully staged. I mean, looks pristine. And then you open the garage, you're like, whoa. <laughs> What hit this place? They all know they staged the house and yet they've already fallen in love and love, love and they've already fallen in love with your home and made a decision to buy it. So the garage is irrelevant at that point. So those are your top 10 order of priority for staging a house to sell to get you more money. So if you are looking at buying or selling a home, so the dream home questionnaire or sell a property questionnaire in the link below. If you need a referral for a great agent in your city, we vet out the best agents. Make sure they stayed, get professional photos and do all the nine yards. Nine yards, that's not a thing. Do everything to the tens when selling your property. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found value out of this video.